I was asked to look up where this video recording was made, and yes, I've cut off the Fox logo. Anyway, there was a couple of clues on the Fox page telling us where it is, but I'm going to do a tiny rant at the end. Let's observe the following. We have a squared off parking space. That's one. We have a line space, second, third, and an implied fourth at the curb edge. We have a garbage can here, a metal fence line, a brown trim white house, and up here you can see that the next house uphill has a satellite dish and there's a little ramp thing here. This is one utility pole, here's the other one, and we're right next to it filming the situation. Looking downhill, a very thin, not really a sidewalk, it's a, barely a pathway. And then in the distance we see this building here, which is a, it's a frat house. And the camera person seems to be going out of their way to not take in the entire scene and give context. That'll be another rant later. Anyway, remember that we have that kind of shape to the um, parking spots, and we're X number of feet from a road. <clears throat> we're looking downhill, and we see one pole here, and we're next to the second pole uphill, and there's a satellite dish. Also note that there appears to be power cables going right across the street right here. Okay. The location the recording was made from, I'm going to zoom in as much as I can here, is this telephone pole here that has a ramp going downhill here for someone to come out of this building. Looking down the hill, we see the space, space that had the motorcycle here and the several lines. And then what I saw that appeared to be the edge of some sort of walkway is a forced perspective effect. There's more than that. And then uphill here, if I can zoom out, we see the road up here on Nez Pierce Road. This is the road that vehicle is going across on. The exact address is whatever appears to be right here. So we're going to try to drop ourselves here. This will be an approximate address in the description. Now, this is where it gets hard to do because nothing is ever perfect. In the image, we see literally this trash can here. We look uphill, we see our satellite dish. There is one pole here, and there's the pole that was being stat stood next to by the person who was filming from that location. And in the video, you can also see this downhill ramp. We turn around, look this way, and we zoom in. And over here is the Alpha something something fraternity house and another building behind it. And I'm going to swap around. There it is there. And I can't line it up perfectly because there is no direct viewing angle for this anywhere. But we do see these um, fence posts and a fence line up there corralling in the cars. And that appears there. So the next thing is you can see these bars here. It's a goal post. That appears to be that. We're almost in direct line with it which means in a direct line with that, we would expect to see uphill, and yes, that mark matches it. In fact, the garbage bin appears to be at the same angle. And then we have the fence here that makes this probably it. Um, this image is of wintertime in January, or last, well, at least wintertime, so we don't see a tree there. This imagery was from 2001, a year earlier. That's about it. So the location the individual was filming from is right up there by that pole. <clears throat> Probably a resident in the area. And again, Fox did not post the raw video. So as far as evidentiary value, this is garbage. Now the rant. Dear Fox News, please stop using bright red crayon style video editing. It's extremely unprofessional. Next, I can't find a piece of software that will let me undo this, even if I know how to change the contrast and brightness levels to fix it.
because most software is programmed not to do these things because this kind of screw up is something that none of the programs want to try to fix. Last, when you record a scene, it doesn't matter if you think it's important, do a swing around to give context to the video you're recording. Look left, right, up and down, get more information than you need, and then post the raw video. Dear Fox or Faux News, please stop editing anything that would ever be thought of as evidence. This is the complaint I had about CNN when they kept putting their logo on things. Stop fucking doing that. It's frustrating. And no, in the video you can't see whether there's a license plate or anything simply because of the angle <clears throat> when trying to see from there. Let me show you why. When we zoom out, we see that it's just barely, just absolutely barely, turning at an angle where we could look at the front of the car. But the video we're provided with is so heavily modified by Fox News that there's no way in hell we're going to get anything better than that. Even though they do a zoom in part way through the video and people are going to be apologetics towards Fox, they blurred it. It didn't mean they were trying to. It's just what they did because, well, that's just Fox. Anyway, the window we see it through is right in here approximately. It's only that little space there. And that's all we have to work with, and we don't have it. By the way, that in the background appears to be a building right over here at that edge. So we only see it really between here and here. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and good luck with all that.